Hi Church, Joel Weaver here. I'm excited to be sharing with you today. Uh, the passage that I'm going to be sharing is very much a life verse for me and something that I come back to time and time again. It challenges me, it makes me a better person and it brings me closer to Jesus. So I want to share it with you today. It's this, Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 3. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Now, I love these verses. They capture so much in such a few little lines. They encourage, they challenge, they bring both perspective and an urgency to my relationship with God. And I really want to encourage you today in your personal devotion time. I want to put courage into you today. So number one, first observation is this. We are surrounded. We are not, nor have we ever been alone or isolated. We do not fight in vain. Instead, we take hold of the baton and we run our leg of the overall race. The race that you run today is the same race that all the saints that have gone before us ran. And they now surround you as witnesses to the same saving power in Jesus that we confess today. Be encouraged. There is a multitude supporting you. Number two, throw it off. Throw off everything that hinders, the sin that so easily entangles. And life can make th things complicated. Sometimes without us even realising, we become tangled. In fact, we often find ourselves bound or restricted or held back, not because of anyone else, but instead because of the sin that we allow into our lives. And if we're honest, we all have things in our lives that are not acceptable in the eyes of Jesus. But we have to take responsibility. We have to take ownership for this stuff and deal with it. We have to stop allowing it to hold us down. Take the time to cut yourself free and literally throw off the things that have set themselves up. Recalibrate yourself. Be deliberate. Be ruthless. And don't be held back. You've got to throw it off. Number three is this, fix your eyes, fix your eyes on Jesus. There's no point in running if you do not have a destination in sight. Having a firm focus allows you to keep in a straight line and reach your destination. Look to Jesus today. He is the one perfect example of how we should live our lives, how we should act, how we should step out in faith. Be encouraged. You have a guide. So I'm so excited for your day today. I know everything that can happen is going to be great and I'm desperate for you to know freedom and I'm passionate about you knowing that you are loved. And um, I want to see you run a great race today. So remember these three things. Number one, you are surrounded. Number two, throw off everything that hinders. And number three, fix your eyes on Jesus. I just want to pray for you today, wherever you may be. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this short passage, but we thank you for the power that it holds for our lives. We want to be people who know that we stand united, surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. We want to take responsibility for the things that maybe aren't right in our lives and we want to throw them aside. We want to ask for forgiveness as we, uh, as we sort the sin out in our lives and we set ourselves free from the bondage and the binding that that brings. And we also want to fix our eyes on you today. You are the author and the perfecter of our faith. And we just say amen to that. And um, I just pray that you'll be blessed today doing whatever you're doing. Have an awesome day.